Hello, 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 everyone, and welcome to another episode of Air Streamers, where you never know what stream will ride. <laughs> and I'm laughing because we've been sitting here for the past 35 minutes, prepared, ready to go, and then moments just as the music was playing, something happened, and we're like panic mode trying to resolve it before we get started. But alas, here we are. I'm like hovering over the button, like thinking about it, like, what do I do? What do I do? What do I do? <laughs> Welcome, everyone. It. You did do it. Uh, and yes, we are playing LOL, the bomb game. <clears throat> happy um, Friday. Happy Friday. So excited that it's Friday. A uh, couple of things before we get started about the game, I just want to mention we're actually going to play not the VR version tonight. Because we have discovered too many technical hiccups with the VR version in regards to like our new setup. So the version we're going to be playing is the same, just not like we won't be manipulating the bomb with our hands. We'll be using a controller. Um, and I've looked into it and I think we have to start from the first bomb, which I'm completely fine with because like I don't think that I have it in me. Yeah, to decode like the crazy bombs, but we'll try. We'll see. Also, we didn't do it because prior to this, we were s hooking up the camper to the car, getting it stuffed full of food, and I am I'm ready to go. I, I am ready wait. to go. We have been busy all day, and it was like one of those Fridays for me where there were many unexpected obstacles that were required to get to the joy of Friday, if you know what I mean. So it's like not just simply it being Friday is exciting. You have to get through many barriers, hurdles um, to get to the Friday. Side note, do you know that I ran track and field when I was in high school and I did hurdles? Did I think you know I that? knew that, but I didn't know you did hurdles. Those scare me. They were the worst. I mean, I feel like you could die worst. on them. I nearly did multiple times. And there was like this other. Like if you just jump enough to get over it, but not, then it's like literally just going to slice you down the middle. Like right up through the crotch, through the head, middle of the head. <laughs> no, done. It's, no, no, like no. I feel like there are razor blades <laughs> on top of them. They're, they're balanced forward. So if you just grace graze it it'll flip forward it's just at the point yeah what if you just nail it right where your your front leg is too far forward and the razor blades catch you and you just no no right no through the it wouldn't happen you would have to be diagonal opposite that you would have to be running at it the other direction for what that if to you happen didn't know where to start i don't know i wouldn't know where to start so why would you choose to attempt to run a hurdle and jump a hurdle unexpectedly with no one around that you just happen to find the hurdle and you're like this is the day that i'm gonna jump over this object that i don't know what it is but i'm pretty sure it's a hurdle and you go the wrong way and then get sliced like a razor from your groin straight through your head yeah it's, i think it's happened to people they were terrifying though and anyway it, uh, wait, i want to know like what Obviously, I don't play sports because I don't even know what Elias is talking about right now. But are there different heights for them, or is mm -hmm. it like this is the hurdle and that's your everybody's hurdle is the same? No, 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 no. My God, that would be we're all different. We're all built differently. So the hurdle you have to first of all adjust and find what the right um, like you know, obstacle is for you. There was, but then I feel like if I'm racing people, I would be like, yeah, I'll take the lowest hurdle. I think it depends on your height. It's not that way. Your height will determine which hurdle, uh, height you should, you should be at. And that's like a pretty scientific thing. Yeah. So I'm kind of saying not only do you get sliced in half, but then the two parts of you fall and you break your nose and chin. Okay, MCON didn't say such a thing. MCON just said, no, you just fall on your face and break your nose or chin. <laughs> That's possible. Getting sliced in half is an impossibility. But um, you never know. What if there's a sudden change in gravity the moment you're going over it and it just pulls you down really fast and gets sliced? That could happen if a black hole, if you were above the singularity, is that what the term is? Yeah, could be. Um, so 
Anyway, I was terrible, terrible, terrible. There was another Greek um, student who was on the team and was taller than me and more athletic, better. Everything about it was, you know, I was incredibly inferior, but I just felt like I could do it. So I kept pushing and pushing until I realized I literally can't, you know? So at this point, I think the lesson to learn here is we all can't do everything and hard work will not always pay off. And at some point you have to quit <laughs> because you're terrible at something. That so, is the lesson for the night. That is it. Do yeah, you know, I mean, my sis, my youngest sister was in track and she did the pole vaulting thing where you like that, that blows my mind. I would never do that. I can't even claim like, three steps up the ladder, let alone launch myself on a pole that could <laughs> certainly stab me. Like that's a, that's a given you're going to get stabbed. Well, not I mean, get sliced in half. This one stabs you straight through the stomach. And then you have to just plummet back to the ground after you've jumped. She's brave. I mean, I know she was like, are she was like almost top in the state. Like she I remember was very, that. very good, but I still don't understand it. Um, I think Chris tries to hurdle should be the next game. <laughs> oh yeah, my I God. Agree. We'll put it on the treadmill and I'll just hurdle from like over and over so, and over again. Look, just so that you understand the mechanics of it, Chris, this, you know, you're running, you're running, you're running. And if I jump and mess up, that happens pretty easily. I don't have to do much. It'll just f like fall forward. That's what happens. So you run, run, run. You have to split your legs and bring your back leg forward and jump over it and go, 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 go. It's okay if it wobbles a little bit, but if it falls downward, you get like points deducted or whatever. So yeah, Bella is saying that the the Olympics are death trap. Yeah, you have the the uh, pole vault. You have the javelin. You have the shot put. All those things can literally kill someone. Oh, I. You know what I think of every time that I hear shot put, uh, Professor Trun Trunchbull. That's what I think of. Mi yeah, was it not Professor Miss Trunchbull? Miss, yeah, Trunchbull is that whatever? Trunchbull. Yeah, yeah, I, that's who I. Oh, think that of. movie was so good. Yeah, I loved it. Oh my god, I loved it. I thought that I was her when I was younger, or I wished that I was her. <clears throat> Miss Honey and earlier, someone Miss mentioned Honey Pot. That that was really her name secretly. Is Miss Honey the the one that adopts her at the end? Yeah. Or spoiler what if she alert! I'm sorry. What if she marries Mrs. Potts and then hyphenates her name and she becomes Mrs. Mrs. Honey, Honey Pot? Yeah, Leanne, I agree with you. I we're not going to get into it, but but a Peloton is the one that gets recalled. Agreed. I the only thing I'm going to say is this because I really don't want to get into it tonight. But <laughs> what? don't trigger him, Leanne. <laughs> I love that movie too. Wait, <laughs> I'm, I'm, I've lost how I wanted to approach this. Bella, the movie anger. is the movie is Matilda. It's like a early two thousands movie. Uh, no, or earlier than that. It was younger. It was like nineties. Nineties movie. So wait, listen. The Peloton tread is a treadmill. Any treadmill can possibly hurt you if used incorrectly. As any kitchen gadget can do the same. Or hurdle. Or hurdle, or car, or fire. Anything that is used incorrectly can hurt you. And somehow, it's all of this blame is put on the Peloton treadmill for being a broken device because it hurts people when used incorrectly. When used correctly, it has never hurt anyone. So I don't understand. Yeah, I don't get it either. I how mean, it's we, gotten to that point where we it's are recalled. certainly. I use my, I use the treadmill every day, so I'm like, that's definitely not getting returned. And the options you have are they can they, they it's like a a voluntary recall where they're like stop using it immediately if you are using it, which scares you when you hear that. 
But then it's like, but if you do want to keep it, we can move it to another room that's like isolated from like pets and children and stuff. So it's like, wait, which one is it? Is it broken or is it not? And if it's broken, like, can we fix it if that's what the solution is, you know? Even if they do whatever, I mean, it's still, I would never have the cats around it. I mean, every time that we, that I go running on it, we don't leave the key in it. So it won't, it can never go off on its own. They can never jump up there, even when Tater Tot turns it on. But then when we're done using it, we take the key out. When I am using it, all the cats go downstairs and they're locked down there so that they can't come upstairs. And that's like, that's That's it. it. Natural selection, Meg, a a hundred million percent. So listen, we need to, um, which by the way, someone pointed out that I say that a lot and I never realized until whoever it was pointed that out. So listen, I say that a lot. Yes, Ralphia, user error. Um, but yeah, so listen, tomorrow is a big day. And I know we're here today and we're going to do stuff today, but tomorrow is a big day. And let me explain why in case you haven't been following us on Discord. Me and Chris are fulfilling our moniker of Airstreamers by traveling with our Airstream to a campground that we think has internet. We are bringing our supplies and we are going to stream tomorrow's episode from inside the Airstream so that we can officially become Airstreamers. It's like our baptism. it? It is like our baptism. We had this idea over a year ago. I do say snaps a lot, snap a lot and snaps all around. And and I'm going to snap for us snaps all around yeah, that I'm we're fulfilling this that. tomorrow. I mean, I'm so excited. Literally. I uh, can't wait. A, what, what episode is it? 33? 33. It's a little bit random, but I like it because it's like a third of the way towards 100. Yeah. Okay. I you like know, that. it's a weird, it's like a dumpster fire milestone, you know, like other people would have like 25 or 50 or a hundred. We have 33. Yeah. You know? Yeah. And like, we should probably announce this at 33.33333. Like know? stream a little bit from home in the morning yeah. and then like continue. Uh-huh. It and then Exactly. Go. Yeah. Okay. Exactly. So that is happening tomorrow. We are not bringing any of the cats. Um, and so therefore it will, we have adjusted our camera system to, to not include muskrat cam and ceiling cats. Um, obviously we are, you know, there's going to be no Eloise or chatter or whatever, but you will see us in our airstream. Hopefully. Hopefully. Yeah. Airstreamers streaming Airstreamers streaming from the airstream. We're going to blow through our allocation of data on our wireless plan in like the first five minutes of the stream. And also let me actually point out what might happen. There's a backup plan because we're really excited by this and we're going to make it work any which way. But on the off chance that when we get there and when it's time to stream, we realize that the limiting factor is the internet connection to you all. What we will do is announce through Discord and um, the Airstreamers account that that's happening like that. We're not going to be able to stream tomorrow. But what we will do, what me and Chris have decided to do is record the whole episode as if we were live and then air it on Tuesday and watch along with you and interact with you while we're watching the episode. If it does work on the Wi-Fi there, I imagine like they probably have the wire like the routers on like telephone poles and we're just going to see them like catch on fire in sequence <laughs> because it has the campsite has never seen this demand for bandwidth before. Never because who in because the world else is, is doing that? Nobody. Nobody. Do you realize that tomorrow you if guys we, are pioneers with us? A hundred percent. If we do this tomorrow and we are successful with doing this tomorrow, we, I am certain, but like not really, but I'm certain that no one else on Twitch is doing that. No, because we already took the name Airstreamers. There can only be one. So it's Exactly. Like, so you are all pioneers. And even if they were, they were just copy copying. 
Copy pasta. Copy pasta. So that is a little bit of housekeeping for and we have, tomorrow. I'm Just, so excited. I I can't. It, if it does work out, oh, I'm so fully, excited. I can't wait. Fully, we have like a special little thing that we added in that's different because you know we've got the muskrat cams here. That's sort of our like interesting take on Twitch. I don't think many people have muskrat exactly. cams. I don't think many people have ceiling cat cams. Um, and so we have a little bit of a special twist that we have planned and licensed music for, for tomorrow. <laughs> so I'm really, tune really, really in excited. If we can get that internet working. And if not, we're going to just drag an ethernet cable from our house to that to there, camp yeah. street or the campsite and stream yeah, that way. Uh, listen, timeline wise, if we do it, it's going to be normal, like eight o'clock. And nothing's going to change. If it doesn't work, we're going to try it out earlier on. Um, actually, I'm realizing that. Yeah. No, there's ways for us to try it out earlier on. And if it does work, we're a go. If it doesn't work, we're going to let you all know. And then um, and, and then record an episode. And now keep in mind, like the recorded episode, if we do do that, it's a little bit different because we don't have the interaction with all of you. We don't see all your comments. So we're going to try to make it as engaging as possible. Um, it might not be the full amount of time that we go, but it'll be something for us to collectively view because I did not realize that on Twitch you can run reruns, which is cool, like at a specified time. And then we would be able to then join you as like my user account and Chris's user account, which I think is super fun. Katie, we can definitely play so. a drinking game because that's all that you're supposed to do when you're camping. Yeah. We are going to have fully stocked snacks, dessert I saw in the refrigerator. What dessert? What What did you see? I was, I made the, so I'm so excited. Tomorrow's meal we're making <laughs> is tzatziki or halloumi gyro. So I With made tzatziki. the tzatziki to, this morning so that it could sit and we could make sure that the flavors were good. And I went to go stock the fridge with, um, with it. And I saw that there was cheesecake in there, but I have a question for you. And I was texting Leanne about this. Yes. There's one slice in there. Uh huh. Why? I didn't want, you're not having any cheesecake. I was going to just take a bite of yours. Oh, okay. That's it. Cause we have cookies too. And so I, I'm oh, looking forward okay. to the cookies. That's going to be my dessert. Got it. And okay. so, Nice save, because I just saw, I didn't see no, the cookies. No, what do you mean nice save? That's what I planned. I planned on surprising you with a raspberry <laughs> cheesecake, you know? Um, <laughs> Leanne. So, Leanne and I were cracking up because she, she texted, I was like, oh, I just put the um, sauce away in the refrigerator, and I saw that there was raspberry cheesecake in there. I'm so excited. And um, I was like, but there's only one slice. So is he expecting me to split it? And she's like, no, you didn't, you're not allowed to split that. So <laughs> Sophia was here, said we can rerun the original Philip the Wizard episode when he was born. I can't <laughs> wait. So when we play um, the, the new game that I had mentioned, uh, Metopia, which is coming out, I think, uh, maybe even next week, uh, once... Philip the wizard gets back in the swing of things. That would be a really funny thing to do. <clears throat> so yeah. MCon, what is, um, how expensive is Halloumi? It's like what? Seven bucks. Yeah. It's bucks? on the more expensive side of definitely things. expensive, but it is delicious. Oh my God. Leanne, I told him to say that he found old cheesecake. So he threw it out. <laughs> Bella said, you guys are still saying gyros wrong and I'm not over it yet. Also, Bella, you said that we're going to be eaten by bears. The good news is if it does work, if, the, if this whole stream works and we do get it, you know, um, if we have like some sort of guest come over, maybe like Jason or the, uh, bears and we do go, who you, else is a campsite? monster like the black the creature from the blue lagoon maybe or you know those people if they attack us and we go it would be really fun for you all to watch that live you know yeah and then there's oh evidence. heidi you're the one who said it sorry your colors are the same i'm looking at um a text log 
and your your names are different colors. And for some reason, I thought that you were both uh, the same. Leanne, it's so good, right? That's what Bella said. No, only Chris will be eaten by a bear. Last, we'll push him towards the bear and then peace out. <laughs> yeah, of course. But the <laughs> thing is- Bigfoot, that's a good one. When we show you what we want to show you tomorrow and you get to experience the Airstream, um, the, the, the way that the unit itself is built, when you close the door- it is like no, it's like a sarcophagus. Yeah, you are. We are safe. Knock on wood. It's more the being outside thing, which we won't be because we're going to be inside while we're streaming. Except we have some fun things in play, in store. So we will see what happens. We will see where the we're going to leave it up to Mother Nature to tell it. Yeah, and the internet exactly. So there is that. Um, so to yeah, that's tomorrow. Today I have a story that I want to share that I truly just can't believe is what this life is all about right now. And do I know this story? No, I told you that I had a story today that I experienced today that I didn't want to tell you cause I wanted to get your honest opinion. Um, Oh my God, this hood is annoying me. So but what do you want to do? Do you want to jump right into wine o'clock as I run out of a drink and then t I'll tell the story or do you want me to tell the story and then wine o'clock? Yeah, I think wine o'clock because mama needs her medicine. Okay. Oh, wait, no, you're, who's not gay? Me? What is the splooge story? I, this is not a thing. <laughs> I didn't say anything about how I have a splooge story, but I did mention that I had. What? Bella messaged me earlier and was like, oh, by the way, just FYI, you need to tell the splooge story first. Or today, you need to tell the splooge story and about when you kiss the girl. I don't mind sharing the kissing the girl thing, but I just don't have a clue <laughs> what the splooge story is. So if anyone remembers... You know, go ahead, <laughs> share with us what it is that I must have said. But what we definitely, are, what are we doing with our lives? <laughs> the, the, we are doing exactly what we're supposed to be doing with our lives. That's what we're doing. Uh, also, FYI, we will have a giveaway a bit later on. Uh, we don't similar. know what it's going to be, though. But we yeah, we 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 don't know exactly what it'll be, but it's similar to. Um, what we've done. So stick around for the giveaway <clears throat> and all of our giveaway prizes are out in the world. So like if you, you must've received something, if you've already won the first one, the second one, you're, uh, the second and third are on their way on their way. Well, it's Heather's so. birthday. So Heather's gotten two of them. And so, or Charlie boy, is so. Charlie boy on here. No, I don't think so. I think it's her, she's celebrating. Her yeah. Birthday. I think that, uh, Charlie, I think that Heather said that they're not going to be on. So, today. Heather, if you're watching, happy birthday. Jody, did you get your troll butt yet? And yes, uh, Heather, happy birthday. That's so exciting. And I hope you have a wonderful, wonderful day. But uh, four troll butts went out. Harry troll butts. Uh, a May and a Cody went out. And two, uh, was it two Grookies or one Grookie? I don't remember. One Grookie. One Grookie. Well, a uh, prior Grookie went out. Yeah. So no Heather, no Lana. That's what it was. Lana's out in somewhere. She's with a friend. Uh, she missed her plane today. <laughs> did you that, see that? I did see that and it was perfect yep. because she's like, I missed my plane, but it's perfect because I'm going to just, I've never missed a plane before. So I don't know what happens. Well, honestly. I think they can put you on another one. And I think for her, it was, she was really lucky. I think she got put on an hour later, which in my mind is like, you lucked out and in my in my sort of anxiety brain, missing a flight is l quite literally the end of the world. Oh, like no. I just I imagine mean, like there's the, no more all left the airport to go. shut down. Yeah, that's you've, how it works. you've done. You've you've ruined flights for everyone else. Yeah, that's how I, I feel. I mean, like I just you don't know? think that they have the processing power to put you elsewhere. Exactly. Just, but so. <clears throat> what Alana did is she just went and got breakfast and it looked fabulous. Yeah. She was excited and got mimosas and pancakes and fruit and just was like wasted by the time she got to the plane. So that's I mean, how that's to do, how it. do it. Um, how do I feel about the CDC mask thing? So when I went to school today, after I answer this question, by the way, we're going to go to one o'clock and I'm going to share a story, but I went to school today and I, was a little confused because a coworker of mine who comes into the room was without his mask 
Um, and we, we don't share the room, but there was some stuff in my room that he needed. So he came in without the mask and I didn't immediately come in. We were a little bit farther away. Uh, and so he's the one who brought up that, Oh, the CDC thing. We don't have to wear masks anymore. And so I'm not wearing a mask. And I kind of was like, Oh, really? You know, like in front of students, like you're not going to wear the mask. I'm a little confused. And so what I had to do was go outside of my way to like, let my principal know that like, Hey, listen, um, there I think seems you need to, to be, get direction. Yeah, yeah, that's what it is. Like, I don't mind whatever the direction is, but let us know what the direction is because this yeah. huge event just happened yesterday, you know? And so what I said was, hey, there must be, there's a little miscommunication or, or confusion about what the mask situation is. Can you let us know what to do? And so what he said is that the CDC is giving guidance. They're not, requ they're not, this isn't like a law. They're not saying you need to do such and such. We're just saying we are, we feel if you're vaccinated, it's okay for you not to wear the mask. Um, and then Biden said the the whole thing about time to remove the masks or whatever, which like it sounds good, but I think it was a little bit too soon. So I then, think it was a little curt. Yeah, delivery. like give some I think information it's like about we've it. been doing this for, and again, Biden you know. supporters certainly, but you know, like I think that it it is like black and white, but you we've been doing this for a year now over a year yeah and it's been drilled into our heads and we've all committed to it but and now so it's there to kind be, of like yeah. just the quick message of like here's the next no, do the opposite now yeah that's like, like hard, the opposite hard to digest and so then the instruction we got was that at school because we work in a public school because we are in new jersey we are following what the governor says and the governor has not changed anything and apparently he won't for weeks from now is what I've learned. So um, I'm happy that it is state by state, but I do think the communication is a little bit confusing that it's like suddenly this, like Chris said, this, this whole thing about we need to do this to save lives is now suddenly like, just kidding, take the mask off, take the masks yeah. off. So hopefully with, um, time we'll see how effective this really is but i wanted to point out something that leslie said about how she missed one flight once and was stuck on because she was stuck on the new york uh new jersey turnpike and had to stay in a shitty hotel in newark new jersey oh my god Do you know that that's where chris went to school and it took him once four hours to get home which was 15 miles from there to where we lived you know, I remember that. So. Well, I was stubborn. I mean, if you guys don't know, I'm sometimes a little you? stubborn. You stop it. And I am. So I can tell you, and this sounds ridiculous. I never missed a class in undergrad in all the classes that I took. And I never missed a class in graduate school in all the classes that I took. Ever, ever, Both ever. masters and PhD. I was Always there, ready to go. Well, like, fun fact, I don't know if you all know this, and I'm going to put Chris on the spot. He was valedictorian of our of his graduating college. Yeah. Valedictorian of his graduating college. But so I, and now look at me, I'm sitting here talking about poop and splooges. Yeah. And just wait, I have some stuff to share. <laughs> so, so there was a day where they decided that they weren't going to cancel class. And this was in grad school. And I decided that I had to be there. There was no way around it. And it started snowing midway through the day. And um, then my class went on and they kept us. And then they canceled it, but much later. And now I was in the parking deck and on level like six or seven of the parking deck and nobody could get out of the parking deck because it was like on a little bit of a, a hill. And so because the road was iced over, when people were trying to get out, it was taking the, each car forever to get out. And there was only, it was like a an S up and an S down. And so no matter what, like you just couldn't go anywhere. I mean, I was on the level seven of the parking deck for like 
two hours just sitting there waiting. Oh, it was the worst. And I'm sitting there. And Elias home. is texting me like, where are you? Where are you? And I'm like, I'm like on level five of the parking deck. And then um, I still on top of that had the the drive home in addition. So Yeah, which is a disaster. Which is another disaster. Ralphsia, absolutely you can wear your mask. No one is gonna stop you from wearing a mask. Let's just put that out there. It's more that the, what they're saying is if you feel like you're comfortable by being vaccinated and you're uh, not around too many people, go ahead and take your mask off. But they do say that if you are in a really crowded setting, for example, let's say, I don't know, like a bus or if you are on a train, the other one was prison, the other one was a homeless shelter. Any of those places, I think, still require you to wear uh, your mask, whether you're vaccinated or not. Uh, so it's definitely up to you to. Yeah, I mean, I think it. I'll play it by ear. Like, I'm certainly not the one who I, I, honestly it doesn't bother me. So I don't understand what the like big wearing the mask, you is. mean? Yeah. Well, it depends and on honestly, the people. I wish that the culture was that when you were sick or not feeling well, that you should be wearing a mask. A million percent. Courtesy. A million percent. But that's not the case, uh, as we've seen in. Well, yeah, I mean, it's become really politicized, but we're not going to go there. But, but I think that I'll kind of play it by ear. If I go to a place, a lot of people are wearing masks. I have no par problem participating in that. If it feels like there's not a lot of people, nobody's wearing a mask. I also, since I'm vaccinated, feel comfortable doing that yeah. too. So Today I was the very first day in over a year where at work, while I was outside, they gave us... Um, they gave us ice cream for Teacher's Appreciation Day, which is like, it's fine. Listen, I enjoy ice cream. I love it. Yeah, but I asked you to fill your pockets with ice cream and bring it home to me. But Okay, you literally didn't say that. Well, I was thinking it. Okay, I'm not a mind reader. But <laughs> a week later, I passed Teacher's Appreciation Week is when we get this ice cream. And... It was delicious. Look, I enjoyed it a lot. But point is, we were all outside, and it was the very first time that I got to see my wonderful coworkers, and we all had our masks off. We weren't, like, close, close, but, like, at the same time, we were not, like, six feet apart, you know? And we all had our masks off. We were all vaccinated, and we were, like, hanging out. And I was like, whoa, this is weird. Like, I think we're kind of back to normal. And what's weird is that one day past that announcement yesterday, so like yesterday was the announcement, today is what it was, I experienced the very first day of genuine traffic since the last time I was at school pre-COVID. So March 13th, COVID, all the way up until today, no longer did I did I have traffic. Thanks, Steve, for resubscribing. Aw, thanks, Steve. Um. And Steve, stick around for when I have to pee in a couple of seconds because I think that you'll enjoy what we're about to do. Uh, well, we got to get that wine in you. To no, I need to go pee because we've been sitting here for since 7.15. So, like, I shouldn't have done that. Like, I should have peed beforehand. I have a small bladder. Were you, like, holding it just because you wanted to impress Steve with their abilities? <laughs> no, to I didn't think. It sort of just came on real quick. So, anyway, today was traffic. It's as if yesterday's announcement made everyone's brain go, well, we're back to normal. Let's go. Everyone, you know, fill Route 17 up, which is where I drive, and that's where my story is going to be told. So here's what we're going to do. I'm going to go pee. We're going to play some music for you. I'm going to come back. We're going to do wine o'clock, and then I have a story to share, and then we will play the bomb game. I promise you, we're going to play the bomb game. Do you have a story to share? I do, and it's a good one. Okay, well, while Elias is peeing, I'm going to entertain you with some music that's um, the idea from Steve. This is the license that we selected, and this is going to be the new pew, pee music while Elias is gone. So, what? <laughs> so, what I'm most angry about is that Elias got ice cream today, didn't get me ice cream, and on top of it, got ice cream or cheesecake. But only one slice. And now he's expecting that he's going to have a bite of my cheesecake, which I'm not okay with. So we'll see how that goes tomorrow. So this little jazzy tune 
Steve, what I did is I looked up, we, we were looking through like a catalog of a million songs, trying to find out what's the best P music song. And we needed some, something relaxing, something that has a little bop to it. And <laughs> Bella, I'm glad you like it. And we went through playing a bunch of them. There was not like a, this was labeled as hip hop. It's not, it's like a jazz, but um, there wasn't really like a good, smooth, chill song that really represented P, P breaks that we could license. And so this is a fully licensed song that is important to have on our soundboard because we all know Elias will fully get use of the license we paid for on this on this song and here he is how'd it go everybody's digging it there we go and has so has anyone else tried the pea milk yet it's genuinely excellent what, what is the pea milk like green peas oh wait what did you say now people are adding peas to guacamole no i am not. heard no i i do not support this decision um no it's white or chocolate i need to figure i need to investigate that more um how about we go to wine o'clock now my god now my nose is itchy it's so there's so much pollen outside it always should cut off abruptly when the lights (laughs) returns i love that all right wine o'clock let's do it okay well i mean we've licensed all these songs so let's just we need to get our use out of them let's we're gonna run it up here we go. Okay. Wine o'clock. That one's a little too loud because it's like a minute long. This wine came very randomly. It's called Jam, J A M. And I just walked in. Great idea, Steve. Thank you. I saw it. And it's John and Michelle. Oh, Jam. John and Michelle, J A M. Oh, so what would ours be then? Elias and Chris. C. Chris and Elias. Kai. Kai or Ayak. I think Kai sounds better. Yeah, Kai sounds much better. This is Jam Cellars, California wine. Cellar, Cellar Red and bottled by Jam Cellars. What is Cellar Red? Anyone know? Like, as like if celery? it's Cellar, but it's Cella. Cellar Red and bottled by Jam Cellars, Acampo, California. It is, oh, it contains sulfites. Oh, good. I always love my sulfites. Ooh, 15% alcohol by oh, volume. Oh, there. That's what swayed Elias. That's the he, daddy. <laughs> by the you, way, wait, pause. Think, I need wait. to explain what I just said because that sounds really perverted. Did you hear what I said? Mm-mm. I said, that's the daddy. Um, <laughs> this was a really old video by Miss Cleo that we used to laugh at. And there was a soundboard for that. Yeah. She said to someone, yep, that's the daddy. And now anytime we ever like find something that's like the thing, we'll say that's the daddy. Do you know I didn't even pick up on it? Like if if you thought that that's just part of my vernacular now, I feel like it's I, I expect everybody to know what. Oh, that's the daddy means. That's the daddy. So if if you come across something in your life and you and and it's like the right thing in that moment, that's the daddy. Call me now. <laughs> <laughs> Doggy pack, that's perfect. <laughs> I missed the earlier conversation though. Let me see. Cheddar smells the wine. Thanks guys. It's like Vegas lounge music. I raised my phone in your general direction. I'm not sure what that one means. I think this wine is going to be really fruity and probably disgusting. <laughs> okay, well, we'll I, see. You know what? I, I feel like I have an idea. I occasionally get these business ideas where I'm like, this is what we can do. Okay. I think the thing that we're gravitating towards is the alcohol content on this. And so you're sold by being 15, which I've never seen a now, wine I over I promise 15. you that that's not what I did. It was but 1799. And I liked the cover and that's how I picked it. And then I was pleasantly surprised. All I'm saying is that if you had a wine store that was instead sorted by like, cause most of the time I think it's like, it's location, type of wine, 
price. So you would have like a block that's kind of like super expensive. A yeah, block yeah. that's like yeah. mid range. Oh, so like you're saying 20th. make one. So I'm for... saying let's make a wine store that is by alcohol content. Okay. Speaking of, can I have some, please? I would like some alcohol content. <laughs> oh wait, let me take Zach's it from the Zach's Revolution. The cat is so cute. That is one of many cats. We have seven cats. So that one's name is Cheddar. We have a muskrat. We call him muskrat. So he is on the muskrat cam and he's also on the ceiling cats cam. Um, <laughs> Bella, I'm sorry, but you would need to, you will need to know the cat. Yes, that's Cheddar. Okay. So here we here go. go. I'm going to smell this super fruity jam wine. So I want to tell you about what the, the joke with the, I want to take a po- poll and see at what episode so we're on 32 now at what episode am i going to pour wine and spill it everywhere because that's going to be live on camera whenever i yeah do it. that's why i never want to do it zaxton he just goes there they frequently change they're you know Today's cheddar, tomorrow might be Eloise, maybe Tater Tot comes in. And stick around because you might see that there's more of them that stay. This does smell... It smells a little rotten. Oh, Leanne, you did do a get a muskrat. So after we're done here, get Eloise. Like, I feel like it smells like rotten milk. Are you getting that? (sighs) I don't like it. All right, I'm going in. Oh, I'm not a fan of this one. This is not my jam. I see what you did there. (laughs) Oh, I mean, I'll, I'll finish it. The only thing that is the upside of this is the alcohol percentage and Mm. even that it's not worth it um i think it is a cab all right so john and michelle you have done the world wrong yeah yeah this is a cabernet for sure heidi i agree doggy pack says the faces look like the wine was chunky or something Yeah, it's making I'm telling, me feel doesn't it really smell like weird. sour milk? I uh, it smells like sour milk, everyone. I'm telling you. Wait, Leanne said if you guys continue to drink this and you don't like it, you are you are nuts though. What does that mean? You like this one, Leanne? No, she's saying wait. If you don't like it, wait. She's saying if we drink it, continue to drink it, and we don't like it, then we're nuts. Like we're suffering through it. Oh, I understand. Got it. Oh, I wish that had some cheese and crackers. Okay. I have to review this and move on from this, Chris, because it's making me feel all sorts of ways. I'm still going to just drink it. It's fine. Elias, never play poker. Your face does it all. Oh, my. Yeah. Full stop. I will never play poker. I wear my emotions right on my sleeve. Okay. I'm I'm going in. Okay. I'm giving it two. I'm going to give it a two. I just can't imagine what will be worse than this, but I feel like this isn't I the lowest. I feel like there could be worse than this. Yeah. Okay, move away from like... one o'clock. Yeah, but and... Leanne, we have to suffer for the viewers. This is what we do. We do the hard work so you don't have to. <laughs> we sowed our seed. Mm-hmm. We bought the wine. We put it on the one o'clock. Now we have to deliver. But Bella, you said, I'm like spitting. You said that it would be really fruity and that's <laughs> that's why it would be bad. That isn't what I'm feeling. This I is do sour. feel like it is. It, I do get a fruity note, though. Yes, but it's not why I don't like it. It's It tastes sour almost to the point where I wonder, like, is it OK? Like, is it not well? Like, are we going to be too sick to go to our our trip tomorrow? That's what I'm imagining. You know? Sandy cat. <clears throat> All right. Here's Let me what get I propose. Eloise. Okay. Get Eloise. Here's what I want to do. I want to play one round of this game and then tell my story before we get to another round. Um, 
before we get to the game, just an FYI, we are playing with a different control scheme and therefore it restarts the levels. So you can't, uh, we can't jump to where we were. We're going to have to get to like the simpler ones. So we're going to start from there. Uh, who is babysitting the muskrats tomorrow? Our friend Sue, who actually the last time Sue was present was, um, was the, the bomb caller, the bomb diffuser. So Sue will be taking care of the muskrats tomorrow. My story is going to happen after this game. And like after one round, we'll cut to the story. Then we'll go back, <clears throat> back again. Oh my God, this wine. I'm not a fan of it. It's like sitting weird. All right, Chris, switch to the game. And let's get started. <laughs> Look at Cheddar. The Ooh, moment. That's the wrong one. The um, moment that she sits, he has to clean her. because She's the princess. Here we go. Wait, you click the button. Oh, there, there we go. Got it. Okay. You all can see this, right? I am playing with an Xbox controller. I am not playing... Um, Eloise, stay with us. I'm not playing virtual reality. So this is going to legitimately be the first for me for doing this. Like, I've not played this way yet. I think I know the controls. There was like a quick little thing. But uh, it's probably going to take me a second to figure it out. So listen, I'm dramatic in case you didn't know. I don't think that it's bad, like as in it's turned. I think it's just crappy. I think it's just bad. Yeah. I don't think it's bad. I just think it's bad. That makes a lot of sense, right? I think that it, it'll it get better. I'm I'm optimic, optimistic. Oh, Cheddar and Eloise emotes. Look at them. So cute. Aww. All right. I'm going to bombs. And oh, weird. I was just lying to all of you. Aww, thanks, thanks for Zach following. Stan Revolution for following. Welcome to the family. We're a bunch of crazy people who are just looking for a good time. There's the so listen. Yeah. So, um, Leanne, Eloise is going back to the couch that you got her. So, don't feel bad that she's leaving the muskrat camp. It hasn't gone bad. It just started that way. <laughs> All right, look, Chris, I'm going to go to the first bomb. I was lying before I said that it wasn't available for us to go through like what we did, but it's... It is. Yeah, and I don't understand any of that. Yeah, let's just get... I just want to go to the first bomb. Okay, ready? Start. Here we go. So, wait, the... I have to promise not to look the at the screen. The screen is for your eyes only. You are not allowed to look at the bomb defusal manual. So you can't look at the screen. I can't look at the manual. Got it. Oh, All right. look. Zaxton okay, is getting Chris, welcomed by any, everyone. The four, sil uh, the four icons with like an upside yeah, down okay, question mark. Yeah, okay, got it. Tell okay, me. so it's like a B with a T. Like a lowercase B with a capital T. Okay, got an it. An upside down question mark. Um, yeah. A triangle with three curved uh -huh. legs and an, and like a side, uh, yeah, I got okay. it. Okay. And a paragraph return. So paragraph B with the T. Wait, hold on. I need to figure out how to do it. Okay. Paragraph B with the T yeah. spider with the hangman yeah. and question mark. Okay. Next is uh simple wires. Okay, yeah, that's the one that I like. Simple, simple. Yeah, simple. So tell me, what do you need? How many wires? One, two, three, four, five, six wires. If there are no yellow wires... There are yellow. Um, if there's exactly one yellow... Nope. Uh, if there are no red wires... Nope. Cut the fourth wire. One, two, three, four. Okay, and now next there's an abort white button a big button i think is what they're called button yeah hurry hurry if the if the button is blue and the button says abort no it's white right mm -hmm. if there's more than one battery on the bomb no mm. if the button is white yes it's white it's white and there's only one bomb and the lit indicator with label car what and the lit indicator with there is a lit indicator with label car. There is no lit indicator. Anywhere? What does oh no, it says NSA. Okay. If there are more than two batteries, how many did you say? One. 
Um, if the button is yellow, no. If the button is red, none of the above. Hold the button and so hold the button and for what? If none of the above apply, hold the button and refer to the release. Hold the button. Okay, now it's What's yellow. What's the strip? It's yellow. Release when the counter is five in any position. Oh my god! Now I have to wait. All right, here we go. Nine, eight, seven, six, five. All right, we did it, folks. Oh my god! With twenty minutes and fifty-two seconds left. What? Two? No, that's the time. It's eight fifty-two. Oh, I was like, man. No. Let's see how we did. Diffused time remaining. 235 that is a record button you have to hold the troll button okay uh do you want to do one more and then i'll tell the story let's move on a little bit i think you should get comfortable with the book and oh I you can want me to do that yeah you okay. do the book folks now this we can scares switch. me this makes me nervous because I'm really sassy when he doesn't give me the info that I need. And now I'm going to be really sassy when I... So should I do fair game? Oh, you're just going like full on? Yeah, I want to meet Oh you. my God. Okay, here we go, folks. We're going to move real far ahead. And I'm going to have not a clue what's going on. No more hand-holding. Remember everything you've learned. Wait, I need learned. the pen. Okay. The tables have turned. This is another reason why we are not doing uh, virtual reality so that it's easier for us to to move. To Anything switch. can appear on this bomb. Chris. We have five minutes and five Chris, modules. Here's what minutes. I recommend. I, you should listen to me. Do the very first one I just did because you need to get comfortable with the controls and then move on. Okay. So go to the first bomb, then I'll tell the story, and then we'll move. you'll do this next one. I'll do this or you'll do it like, like you'll control. Oh, okay. Fine. Okay. Go previous. Go to the first bomb. Before you start, let me explain. You're going to use the right analog yeah, to that. move the bomb around so you can look at it. Yeah. You're going to use a to enter a module. Okay. And then move like with the D pad to like pick the module with a, the, okay. the individual elements B brings you back a step. Okay. That's kind of it. I'm going to forget, but you can just tell me again. Okay. Do the first bomb. <laughs> Chris, you definitely going to get bitch slapped. <laughs> okay, here we go. It takes two. It's on like Donkey Kong. Listen, the screen is for my eyes only. All right, I'm not, I'm not going to look up. Oh, I wish that was wearing a hat. Can my hood fit? No. Oh, the light's on. All right. Tell um, me. There is the things with the logos on them. Okay. What are they? Star, C with a dot, smiley face with a tongue, B with a T. Star? What's the star? The black star. Oh. Okay. Tell me again. Star, C with a dot, smiley face with a tongue, B with a T. Star, C with a dot, smiley face, tongue, B with the T. Mm-hmm. Um, it's smiley face, B with the T, C dot, star. Okay, now for, um, for wires. Okay, that one on the subject of wires, where are the wires? Four wires. If there's more than one red and the last digit of the, tell me, is there more than one red? Yes. And is the last digit of the serial number odd? No. Uh, if the last wire is yellow. No. Otherwise, if there's exactly one blue wire. No. Otherwise, if there's more than one yellow wire. No. Otherwise, cut the second wire. Okay. Okay, next. Tell me. It says detonate and it's yellow. What does that mean? What is the what button? It, oh, okay. Button. Tell me that it's a button. The button. <laughs> okay, if the button, if the button is blue. No, it's yellow. If there's more than one battery on the bomb. Um, yes. And it says detonate. Yes. Press and release a button immediately. Oh my God. Jeez Louise. Holy moly. Is this our calling as bomb diffusers? <laughs> Bella. 
her mom just oh called her. Oh my God, her. that is hysterical, <laughs> Bella. Bella said my mom just called me and I screamed, I'm on the, I'm on with the air streamers. And she said, is that the two guys with the cats? That is incredible. Bella, tell mom we said hi. Okay, Chris. So now switch to cameras only for a moment. <laughs> Steve said, cool whip. <laughs> that is from, uh, that's from, do you know what that's from? Cool Ken whip? Elias, get it? Cool whip? Yeah. It sounds like it's from uh, something with a, with a car. Is it? Uh, I don't think. Or that. a I mean, plane? A is it Top cars. Gun? I think it's from um, Family Guy. Steve, let me know if it's from cool Family Guy. Whip. I think Stewie says it. The button. Okay, uh, move to cameras only. And then you keep the controller. I will do the bomb diffusing. And then we will uh, move on in just a second. No, I thought that I was doing the bomb diffusing. Yeah. You keep the controller. I will help you diffuse the bomb. Yeah, Steve said I'm right. Look, wow, Chris got it. Chris got it. All right, so let me tell you. Um, Stewie does say, my mom loves that you adopted six out of seven cats from Beth and Howard Stern. And like technically uh-huh. speaking, our, oh, never mind. Our sixth cat, which was Oriole from them, was from them. We did not adopt um uh, Bentley, well, Bentley by them. default. Yeah. I, I, I have this like hope inside me that when Beth met, ben, met Bentley for the first time and she loved him, she was like so sweet to him. And listen, it's Beth. She's sweet to like everything. She's sweet to pigeons. If you guys are seeing his, her most recent posts where she's <laughs> saving pigeons now. But um, I have this, hope inside me that Bentley and his adorableness inspired her when Helen Rose came around for her to keep Helen Mm -hmm. for herself. And that's why she wanted. Do you think that that's what it was? I have a hope. I love that. I don't know. I I have no idea, but I, I have a hope inside me that that's the case. Um, This wine just became a little bit better, like a little bit. But I just don't understand why is it so sour? Yeah, because it's, what does it say? With hints of sour milk in it? It doesn't say anything about the flavors. Oh, well, that's why. Because they don't want you to, anybody who's shopping for this and they're like, who's going to buy something and say it has sulfites with a hint of (coughs) sour milk? Okay, can I share my story? Yeah, tell us. Everybody's waiting with bated breath. I don't know why this happens to me. When I'm driving, but I was driving home today from work and there was traffic and I'm going to explain to Chris where specifically this, um, this is, there is a spot on one of the highways that, uh, brings us to our home that goes from like five lanes down to two. And so there is absolutely a hundred percent always traffic there not only that there's also a merge from another which uh, highway highway route 17 national wholesale liquidators oh god this this is literally and so the worst no matter what i mean we have driven home from our friends houses who live in the town that i work in midnight one o'clock traffic it's bad And there's absolutely no reason for it. Like there does not need to be traffic. And the new thing they've done was added a merge lane from another um, part of the town that's there. Because, you know, that's what you do. Exactly. So it's like there's not enough lanes merging. Let's add more lanes from another area. Not even like where we're all on the highway, like going forward, you know, but it's it's uh, from another part of the town. There, for whatever reason, is always a cop there observing i don't know if it's maybe just an easy spot to ticket people or maybe there's so many traffic accidents there like the car accidents that happen because of all these merges i don't know but there's always a cop there but that makes people more uncomfortable i think that's the whole thing that it ends up making people like slow down even more this was the one of the first times that i didn't see a cop there do you know what i saw an accident i don't think you can ever guess that 
for you to tell for you to guess what i saw today was there a car teetering on the median no give me two more guesses was there um somebody streaking down the highway no but kind of close okay (laughs) this is getting weird (laughs) uh Ow, tater tot. Oh my God, tater tot. If anybody's watching, (laughs) if anybody's watching and doesn't know that we have a cat named tater tot who just likes to eat feet, literally probably thinks that I'm just screaming ow, tater tot, like as an exclamation. We're waiting. Um, A monster truck. There was a woman uh, park parked their car on the side of the road, just literally in the middle of the highway, because there's no shoulder there, parks her car on the side of the road and is outside of her car with her toddler changing its diaper (laughs) and wiping its butt and everything. And hand down the diaper, changing the diaper. Aren't diapers meant to be just change at your convenience? Literally, I correct. don't know, like what what. And the when thing I is. tell you what confused me about this is the urgency of it. Like, was it that what was what came out of this baby was so putrid that it was no, like making the the driver pass out? <laughs> And they absolutely needed to, you know, get rid of it. And and the worst part is I watched her dump the diaper on the road, like on the on that oh, side road. Oh, fantastic. That's fantastic. And I, qu- I, I just couldn't understand. And I have a picture of it, Chris. I'm not going to show everyone because I don't want to put whoever this is on blast. But um, I have a picture that I'm going to show you afterwards. But legitimately a was explosion. a person... On the side of the road in a really, really jam area. No, that is area. Uh, Elias described it perfectly. Imagine a five lane highway literally going to two lanes in like a 500 foot span with merges on, with on merges. ramps yep. to that area. And off ramps. There's on ramps and off ramps. So and listen. I could not believe it. At first, so listen. Yes, I took a picture because we were we were dead stopped. We were dead stopped traffic. Listen, Sophia, are doing she this. wanted a picture to be taken. She was if she didn't want to be seen with pictures, she would have pulled off into one of the many stores. This is the, the part of the reason why this tr- this highway has so much traffic is it's littered with retail stores and parking lots on parking lots. Yeah, it's just anywhere you anywhere want Anywhere you go, you can just pull into a parking lot and change the dirty diaper. Um, Steve, people weren't rubbernecking specifically because of this. It's that by nature, this area will create traffic, but people were extra trafficking now the, because yeah, of this. Yeah. Because now everyone Even is observing if one, this. If one person rubbernecks or you know takes a picture for whatever reason... Then, <laughs> wait, I don't understand. Why? You took a picture, <laughs> Chris. We were barely moving. I'm sitting there, just stopped. And the funny part is, I'm listening to this book that I mentioned last time called um, "The Subtle Art of uh, Not Giving an F." The subtle art of how to not give an F. I don't know the exact same title, the exact title name. And this man, it's like a self-help book and he's being, it's just really great and it's so funny. And he's basically just saying like, you have the option of choosing how to react to things. I think that this woman was... And reading, here I am she, taking a picture. Yeah, I think, listen, okay, there. there's a couple things I want to unpack here. One, I... I'm fairly certain this woman was listening to the same audiobook because she did not give an F. It stunk. She was going <laughs> to stop all of traffic. She didn't care if she was grounding planes, shutting down highways, canceling the economy, everything. Just to look. change this diaper. Oh, oh, God. Do you see what I'm showing you here? Am I wrong? <laughs> 
<laughs> what? Am I wrong? No, you're... <laughs> that needed to be recorded. Do you see what that what is? What is she doing? Do you see down there? <laughs> that is the diaper on the highway with her child's bare feet. The child is naked and that is not a toddler. Now that I'm looking at it, that is like a three-year-old. No, the bare feet on the highway. God knows what's I on that can't, highway. I can not. Okay, so <laughs> that's my first thing. That she did not give an F and she was just going to change the diaper there because that's what she wanted in that moment. And she didn't care who it impl- impacted. That's fine. The second thing that I want to address here is that we no longer know how to act in a society. <laughs> <laughs> Literally. We have been in quarantine for a year and a half. When we go out, I feel like we're oh, we just have no idea stumbling around, bumping yep. into people, not knowing how to do anything. And I feel like we all just need to get, Stella needs to get her groove back. Like maybe the mask thing is good that they're take that they're lessening it because we need to get back. We're to, broken. Yeah, we're very. We are broken. a broken people. Katie said, "Can you show us the pic with blurred faces on it?" LOL. Let me see what it. What am I? Um, there uh, honestly aren't even faces. <laughs> Kyle, yeah, totally feral. I feel like. <laughs> Do you think it's appropriate if I show that, or should I not? Yeah, I mean, let me see. I think it's fine to show that. I mean, it's a, literally a blur. This is just... Yeah, flip it over. This okay. is a kid in a if bathing suit look, with a dirty diaper. If on you're going to look, this now's the time to look. This is what I'm going to show you. Literally on the highway. Look. On the ground with diaper. no shoes on. This is the diaper. This is no shoes. Can the photo be a sub goal? <laughs> this right here is the oh, child Steve, that's Elias like is three. Just going in. This is the mother who is when I just before what moments. Is wait, what's happening? See, it's there. a live photo. Let's see what's gonna happen. Wait. No, don't do the live photo. No, nothing. So there's that's what's happening. Yeah, Mozzie, the diaper you on know? the ground. Do you know who's gonna have to pick that up? Oh. Like the the DPW or like the the people who do not get paid enough to pick that up. That's not their kid. They shouldn't have to pick up a dirty diaper. You know what's crazy about this? So this child, from the looks of it, now that I'm like observing the picture again, is probably like three years old or two years old. I don't know when babies stop wearing diapers, but it seems that this baby is a little bit older. like 12, I guess. And so I don't even know what we're looking at. I think what's funny, but like not funny about this, is that if by some chance, somehow, somewhere... This child grows up and somehow revisits this random episode of Airstreamers and sees himself or herself or itself, themselves, I don't know what I'm looking at, at that point in time. And they're like, wait a second, that looks like my mother. Wait, I remember that moment. And now here we are, these awful, awful men who are just blasting this woman (laughs) who's probably doing the best she could probably do. To take care of that child. Patsy, I literally have no concept of what what stages children go through. I feel like when when do they start talking at like eight? (sighs) Yes, Chris, that's what they start talking. (laughs) No, they're going to start like making mumbly bumbly sounds at like one and then like probably start talking at two and then like maybe younger than two and then start walking between like one to three. When do they stop crying? That's my thing. That just goes right through me. I mean, that can happen forever. No, but that like shrieking. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, they talk before one? This wine is getting a little bit better, but it's still not so great. Potty training is three worst stage. The, the worst stage. <clears throat> oh, the worst. Yeah, potty training is the worst stage. I uh, cannot imagine that, to be honest. I don't know, like, I don't know. I can't imagine it. One thing I will say about, though, me and Chris, if whenever, if ever, we decide that this is going to be something in our lives, I can assure you, number one, Airstreamers is dead. (laughs) (laughs) Number two, 
<laughs> that I think we'd be some pretty badass parents is what I think. Not maybe initially and in like in the initial moments and stuff, but that child is going to have a wonderful life. Um, unless they tell us that they want to play like football or something, then I don't know that. I can, oh, that's going to be a hard no. Yeah, right. Because I'm not learning all of the things. Like, Actually, I'll be honest with y'all. I know football. I don't know if you know this about me, but I used to be um, in wait, marching I, band. We haven't even. Oh, we have gotten to the game. So okay, that's that's good. We've no, oh, yeah. Uh, we have. I have been in marching band for six years of my life when I was younger, and I was the marching band director for about five years in my adult life. And so, therefore, I need to know certain things about football. And so, in life, I've learned how to um, not play myself football, but, like, I know football. Like, I know a lot of – I know all of the terms. I know all of the specifics. I know all of the, like, plays that they do and stuff. And that is probably something you don't know about Like, you can only have so many plays? No, like the the decisions they might make. Like, are they going to throw the ball or are they going to run the ball? Are they going to do a field goal or are they going to do the uh, return kick, you know? Yeah. Exactly. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Uh Uh-huh. So... yeah, if we dealt no, with Tater- no, the reason why marching band is involved is because we need to play based off of the f- environment of the team. I okay. Wait. I'm realizing I wasn't clear on that. As a marching band member, we literally exist to support the football team, and we have songs that we would play that are specific to events that take place while the football team is playing. And so if they scored a goal, a goal, a touchdown, I just like negated anything I just said. If they scored a (laughs) touchdown, then that means that we play a specific song. If they scored a field goal, we play a specific song. If they did somebody cue you like of this, like the mark, the uh, drum major would cue us when I was in younger. But then I now as an adult had to be the one to tell them what to do. Mm, you know that's what I a mean? lot of responsibility uh yeah but then at some point they all just took over and they did what they did but while i was in marching band is when i kissed the girl so we will uh come back to that in a i moment. feel like that's a movie that's like american pie right yeah and i'll be honest that kind of was the case you know so i want to tell you my experience with football because it is a slog i mean it's literally the worst game on the planet and i'm sorry it's for really anybody, not. anybody who's watching who's a football fan but i cannot get into it and for some reason my dad thought that it would be a nice gesture to take us to a football game for the giants or whatever they are and jersey but they're not jersey they're new york or something there's some weird shadiness going on between Wait, new the york giants and isn't there like they the play new york in- giants play in giant stadium which was in east rutherford and then yeah yeah which is in jersey so which it's is new jersey, literally right which is literally five seconds away from the town that i teach at and while i actually marched myself my feet touched giant stadium back when it was giant stadium magic Loved it. And so what <laughs> What I... Yeah, Steve, the Meadowlands, literally where I teach. That is my job. Football. You teach football. No, the, he's saying they play in the Meadowlands. I both play at the Meadowlands. Yeah, I literally, my job is the, the town in which I work, its stupid tagline is the jewel of the Meadowlands. Tell me you don't want to just literally vomit when you hear that. Oh, the that's like jewel s- saying the, the mud pie of the swamp. I mean, it's terrible. The mud pie of the swamp. I mean, <laughs> listen, we're not going to get into that. My thing is my dad got this genius idea that he was going to take us to a football game at this giant stadium. And so... He takes me and like my sister, probably, I don't even remember my mom and we go to this football game and I'm sitting there and this is in Jersey. So there's like planes flying into Newark airport. It's like close, it's close by as the plane goes. And so 
this game is going on for God knows how long. Terrible. Where I needed, this was pre iPhone, pre like entertainment. I, need, yeah, I needed stimulation other than these people sitting there talking about what they were going to do with the, the ball. And so my game was count how many planes are going to fly over the stadium. <laughs> and I literally sat there all night long waiting for excited when the next plane was going to enter near the stadium, counting how many planes were going overhead during this God awful game. It is just terrible. It is a slog. It's a snooze fest. I will never understand it. Okay, but you came up with the mud pie of the swamp. <laughs> and I wrote that down in the book. Jody, how do you know about Xanadu? Oh my God, Xanadu is a whole other I scandal. I thought the jewel of the Meadowlands was Xanadu. Do you know? I mean, we're not going to like fully go into it, but Xanadu was being built when I was still in high school when I kissed the girl. No, that is some shady New Jersey. Yeah, big time like, shady. We'll talk about that in a little bit. Why don't we do this, Chris? Let's go play another round of this. Let's okay. see how far we can go. Here's what I would like to do. If we solve a puzzle with the complicated wires, I want to take a screenshot and that will be the printed out prize alongside one of the Muskrat Nation logos. I feel uh, like we should stickers rather. We should take a picture of like Giant Stadium as the the mud pie of Oh, uh, Giant Stadium. We don't we're not playing that. The point is we're creating this content. Giant Stadium exists and it's the mud pie. <laughs> so <laughs> All right, ready okay. Chris? I'm ready. All right, we're going to go right into it. Right now, I went to college in Connecticut. My best friend is from uh, is from and lives in Jersey. Where in Jersey? Sophia was here, is gifting a tier sub tier Aww, one sub. Sophia, streamer. thank you Aww. to Runic Guardian. Thank you. I know all the Jersey secrets. Sophia, that's super sweet of you. All right, Chris, ready and welcome, Runic Runic Guardian. No, I we know have that Runic name. Guardian. Yeah. yeah, we've we've had Runic Guardian before. Tell me, Chris. Oh, I have to, what do I have to select? Just continue. Oh, my controller went off. Let's see how we do. And do you have, um, I'm going to just do this. Okay. If I see one with the complicated wire, I'm going to press F12 so that I can take a screenshot so we can print it for our fans. Okay. My Twitch keeps freezing. Anyone else? Heidi, that sounds like an Android problem. I'm totally just kidding. I just wanted to throw that out there. I really don't care. Oh, shade. Shade, shade, shade. She's from Mountainside, lives in Long Island. Uh, I think actually, Jody, the proper term is that she lives on... Oh, wait. I'm sorry. I'm trying to throw shade and it's not... It backfired. Wait, what is what Lives is in Long Valley. I don't know who, where that is, but I thought it said Long Island and people from Long Island very specifically say that it is on Long Island. Oh, really? Yeah. Oh, my God. It's like they'll judge you big time. So I'm sorry. What did I Listen, do, Deb? Do not throw shade at, at Jody. Oh, that's probably what I did. Okay. Ready, Chris? So go back. Oh, is this the one? Um, Beach, please. We are drinking sour milk, also known as jam. Oh, you know what? We should probably have the wine bottle on the screen. I mean, we've got a whole mess of things going on. Hold here. on. That's not a bad idea. Next to the Airstreamers logo, we should have the wine bottle. I'm writing that in. Have wine bottle. <laughs> Deb. Wait, Deb, are you? Deb is from Long Island. On and screen. she's saying, yes, on Long Island, I will judge you. Yeah, see? I, am I right? Well, good for standing up for the Long Islanders. I said I'm on an iPad, Dick. That's the reason why I actually corrected myself immediately because I knew you were on an iPad. <laughs> All right, ready? <laughs> Chris. Uh, we have the best followers. I know, I can't. I mean, you I guys are it. like this our just friends. Makes it I just so much fun. You guys, I can't. I can't. Is this the like difficult one? Chris? Yes, this is very difficult. Go back. Let me just make sure. It's very difficult. Chris, go to back. Lies. Okay, Look. fair game. Ready? Folks. You need to tell me if there's a, a complicated wire. And when there is, I'm going to just immediately press F12. Okay, I'm really nervous for this wine bottle because you are getting aggressive. 
Hit okay. that F12 button. Yeah, yeah. That's fine. Ready? Go for it. Okay, I'm ready. We're going. Here we go. Let's see if we can do this. I hope so. Listen, my my screen is for my eyes only. Yeah, and my book is for my eyes only. Stop looking. Oh my god, I really hope tomorrow works out. Okay, there's a Simon says one. Um, okay. What about? Um, I don't know. What do I have to do with oh. it? Oh, <laughs> it says start. green. Green. If the serial number contains a vowel. No, it's green. If the, does the serial number of the thing contain a vowel? Um, yes. Okay. So then green is flashing? Yeah. Then press yellow. Okay. Okay, now tell me. Green, yellow. Yellow, green. Okay. Green, yellow, red. Yellow, green, blue. <gasps> I hit Mother, the wrong. Are you kidding me? Now we have to do something different. Tell me. Oh, I didn't see the blue, first one. red, yellow. Wait, I didn't. Yeah, blue, red, yellow. Wait. <sighs> oh crap! <laughs> Did anything happen? Um, it just says it's green now. Give me information. I can't okay, see. Now it says now there's a complicated wire. Did we do that one? Yeah, there's a like green light by it. It's okay, good. complicated wire. Oh no, I'm not good with these at all. Okay, what do I need to do? So <gasps> Wait, F12, F12. The <laughs> Did I take a screenshot? Did it go? No. Why is that not taking a screenshot? Turn it off and listen. Okay, go, 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 go. Um, it's got the first one is no star in the bottom. Oh my god, I'm sweating. Wait, Chris, no. I literally don't know what I'm looking at. Welcome. To it has a star symbol. No star symbol. It's blue. Okay. Solid blue. No Fire light. Fire has blue coloring. No light. Okay. Not striped. Is the LED on? No. No light. And is the wire, does the wire have red coloring? No. I said okay, just blue. Okay, chill. I'm trying to figure it out. So I think you have to press cut the wire if the last digit of the serial number is even. I Oh, uh, I think it's upside down now. Okay. Okay, next. What? Um now it is no light, white. And a star. When you say no light, does that mean the LCD LED is on or off? Like, is that what you're saying? It's off. Okay. No light. Okay. No light. Go ahead. Next. Come on. Come on. Come on. You're drinking right now. It's white. Wire has red coloring or blue coloring. No, it's white. I don't know what that means. There's nothing here with white. It doesn't have any of the coloring. It's just Does white. it have a star symbol? Yeah. Okay, so if it has a star symbol and it's, I don't know. Oh, I mean, we're goners. What about cut the wire? Just cut it. Oh, my controller is not connected. Oh, no. Oh, no. What ha what's happening? <laughs> my Tell controller. me. Oh, wait, because you typed. That's why. Okay, so I'm oh cutting. God. Oh, I cut it. Whoops. Okay, it's good. Okay, well, it's good. Okay, go now on. It's Blue. Oh, wait. This one cut because you already did that. And this is cut because you already did that. Got it. Did it happen? Yeah. We did. Okay, move on. Go, go, go. Okay, now it says a display with the words on the buttons, the six buttons. The words on the six buttons? Can you be clearer? Yeah, it says like next, you are. Uh -huh. Okay, what does it say? It says display on the LED. Display on the bottom right, there's a word. Bottom right, tell me what it is. Um, you. What? Tell, spell it. Y O U. Oh, oh dead. Oh my god. <laughs> I just. I can't. Oh my god. Oh my god. I'm just. I'm sweating. <laughs> That whole sequence needs to be a highlight. <laughs> wow. 
Let's retry. That is a monster of a, a task to accomplish in five minutes. Listen, so we're going to retry. Uh -huh. You're going to, we're not going to take screenshots. We're going to focus. I want a screenshot of this time, though. Zero seconds. That's where we're going to send our our followers no i want the exploded picture because it's literally a oh that's kind of funny i i think that's kind of funny okay ready chris well, we'll let the person who wins the raffle pick which one they want all right to. go go for it you do it again retry and by the way folks it's random <clears throat> what is random the what's going to come up it's not the same thing that we're doing like it's a right. random i feel good about this one i think we'll get this one Okay, can I just get a shout out for the complicated wires? I did that shit. No, you go, told go, me. Go, 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 go. Okay, we'll unpack that afterwards. Um, You're there, wasting time. There is a complicated wire, but it's got like one, two, three, A, B, C. I don't know what that means. Okay, I think I know what that is. All right, tell oh, me. There's five of Tell these? me, tell me, tell me. Wait, mine is just spinning like oh crazy. Oh my now. God, Chris. I am not doing this. It's spinning I on can't. its own. I literally just <laughs> can not. I can't, I, can't, I can't control it like this. No, a lot. Oh, wait. Okay, now it stopped. No, wait. My controller is not working. <sighs> it's look at it. Look, guys, I'm. Can I I'm see it, hitting please? the buttons and it's not doing. Can anything. I see it? Okay, what's the problem? It was not working. <laughs> like I don't understand. <laughs> it wasn't. You're closer to the computer. Let me have my. <laughs> Can I have this? Well, we need to restart now. Yeah, I know. We're gonna restart. Jesus! I just... Oh my God! Yeah, I'm gonna go back to the office. The Listen, I am setting in. I have an office job. I I don't perform well under this stress. Dragon Man said, "Did you charge it? It's got double A batteries that we literally just replaced." <laughs> <laughs> Mega Mix said, give Chris the book. That is the best compliment ever. <sighs> Listen, we're going to get it. I feel good about this one. All right, go. Tell me. Oh, it's because I took a screenshot. Tell me. I'm waiting. It's loading. Okay, now it has letters and we have to like decrypt it. It's like a... What? It says J on the first letter. It's oh, like... Shoot. It's five... It's five letters long. Yeah, okay, tell me. J, P, K, B, as in boy, F, G. Okay, next one. L, Yeah, A, next one. No, yeah, I am. A, L, A. A on the next two. Yeah, yeah. Z, okay. W, uh -huh. R, U. Okay, next, next one. T, V, K, A, Q, O, T. Okay, next C, one. C, D, A, V, S, Z. Next C. one. Oh, C is a lot. Okay, next one. Y, B, G, E, W, P, Y. Can you tell me the first one again, please? P K B F G J. The first one is P for sure. Okay. P L A P. What, let me just. I'm speaking out loud. P L. Like so, the second one is either A L or W. A, L, or W. Next one is A or T. Next one is S. Next one is P, W. And the first one is that. So P, L, K. Can we do Patsy? Oh, Pats my God. Patsy. No, I don't think that there's no Y. Patsy. <laughs> no, it's there's no Y in it. it. The last one is either P or W. Do the last one as P. Try plant. Does it work if you do that? Hurry. No. No. Plus. T. 
Tell me the first one again, please. P, I mean, K, B. Wait, what? P, uh huh. K, yeah. B, yeah. F, yeah. G, yeah. J. Only one combination of the available letters will match a password. Oh my god. I think this is a lost one. Try plant. I tried plant. It doesn't Try work. Try place. Place works. Wait. No, I don't think it, it will work. Oops. Placey. Oh, wait. Place works. Yeah, got it. Okay. Is it green? Yeah. Okay, go. Next. Um, now there's... Uh, not complicated wire. Okay. Oh shit! How many? How many? Six wires. Uh huh. One, one, two red. If there are no yellow wires, there is a yellow. If otherwise, if there's exactly one yellow, yeah. Then and there is more than one white. No. Otherwise, if there are no red wires, no. Otherwise, cut the fourth wire, and move on to the next one quick. Okay. Complicated wires. <sighs> okay. Go. Oh my god, stop the snooze. Press B, press B, press B, and Ow. then go to the left and stop it. Okay, go back. Jesus. Go, go, oh, go. Wait, I'm opening a manual now. <sighs> Complicated wires. Yeah. The first one is white with no lid. I don't know L what white is. It's a white wire with no colors. LED is off. LED is off with a star. And it has a star. Yes. Okay, so let's try C. C? Oh, I'm sorry. That means cut the wire. Okay. Now it has blue. Uh-huh. It's star. Yeah. And it has no light. Blue and star. And it has no... Wait. Blue and star and has no light. Try... Oh, God. 15 seconds. Um, cut the wire if the bomb is a parallel port. Oh, my God. There's no light. I don't know if it has a parallel port. All right, well, I'm cutting it. Oh, no. Wrong. Oh, dead. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. I cannot. <laughs> oh, my God. Oh, my God. I'm the worst. Okay. I don't think that my level of concern raises high enough for this game. Big time not. I'm literally sweating and I'm ready to have an anxiety attack. And you're like, oh yeah, sure, plant. Place worked though. You insisted that the ending was P. Yeah, but I'm a little confused by, by this. <laughs> I don't know how to make it work, but I think that I have an idea. I want to try once more, but I have to go P again. So we're going to play oh our music Oh my God, again. we're going to just... We're going to pay back the license on this song. In While I'm doing that, stream. Pray, play the song. I'm going to lower the. Yeah, play the song. And you look through this and pour me another glass of wine, please. You mean sour milk? Yeah. There's so many needy mo modules. That's crazy. What's a clonopin? Like a. Oh, <laughs> yeah, Jody. Okay, well, we're going to pour him a glass of Klonopin, and we're just going to play this music while Elias is screaming at me to give him better directions. Yep, this is the new bathroom break music, fully licensed, and we are here for it. We hope we supported the musician who wrote it because it's fantastic. Doggies, this wine is called Jam. It tastes a little bit like sour milk, um, but the alcohol content is 15.1%, which we're not mad at. It gets better as you 
you go along, but that's like any wine. The smell of it literally smells like sour milk and the taste is not fantastic. We gave it two out of seven muskrats. Well, Zaxton, I think that it is important that we all take care of our mental health. And I am thankful that you've gone and spoken to somebody and gotten, you know, if you have anxiety that you've addressed it and um, talk to somebody about it. I think that's super important. And I think it's actually Mental Health Awareness Month. If I'm, I might be wrong with that, but it was recently. Is it Mental Health Awareness Month? Yeah, I love that. I think it's all important that we go if I feel like there's a taboo on it and it's important that we talk about it and it's not taboo to talk about mental health awareness. That's why we talked about my anxiety on uh, exactly. That I other, think it's super important. That other time. OK, this you didn't abruptly stop it, Christopher. I was waiting for you to do it. Um, Doggy pack. If he drinks an entire glass filled with clonopin tablets, he'll probably end up dead. <laughs> Who said the thing about clonopin? I thought it was Jody. I think Jody said it, but then um, Zaxton said that he he has some. And I was saying, if you have anxiety and you've gotten um, you know help for it, I think that's important. And I, I applaud you for that. Chrissy, uh, there is a dress... That is on my front steps at the moment as we speak. I have not found the dress. It's a whole other story to talk about my experience in um, in TJ Max. Is that the name? TJ Max and Marshalls. Both were horrible. Um, but I did order something from Amazon and it's on my steps as we speak. So after the stream is over, I will try it on. Um, short fire. Someone mentioned is a wine. I'm writing that down because I don't have that in my list. I think it's short wire shot fire. Wow. I have both the controller and the book. Am I like solving the problem? Shot fire. Do I have wine is more important? Yeah. Shot fire. Got it. Got it. Got it. Right there. I don't think there's any taboos with any mental illnesses. I think the opposite is true. And people are actually saying that their mental illness is, I missed it, is part of their identity. Well, I think what the issue is mainly, the reason why I think Chris said is that that it's a taboo is because there is a stigma. I think that people aren't willing to go get help if they need it. That's that's really That's the problem. That's what I mean by it's taboo because- they internalize it and rather than going to get help if they need it, they think that it's society, I think in general, puts on the face that you shouldn't go get help, that it's not something that you need to get help for. And I, I think that's the total opposite. I've also heard that uh, term, Heidi, neurodivergent. Um, also, Chrissy said, will you take a pic and put it in Discord? Uh, depends on if it, <laughs> if it fits or not. If it looks good, sure. Oh, sorry. If it looks good, sure. If not, and it's like too small or too big, no. <clears throat> um, but if you are not following us on Discord, Body McBotface just posted. Um, you should click to follow us on Discord. We have a ton of fun and ridiculous conversations. Okay, so. You're like a... Uh- you're guzzling down this uh guzzling? Yeah, look, I still have a quarter of a glass of yeah, well, my I've, sour milk wine. I've been stressed out trying to figure out how do I play this? Why is this not working now? Yeah, that's what it was doing to me before. I don't understand. I'm confused. Oh wait, oh, there. Hey, reason. All right, ready, Christopher? We're going to try this. Did you see a redeemed, I redeemed, get a muskrat. Bernie, please. Oh, where is Bernie? I don't I, know. I can get him. All right. I'm going to pause then. I'm going to return to office. Go get Bernie. <laughs> Mega Meg. I am definitely making him drink because of my poor performance in um, this bomb. Yeah, game. Zaxton, that's ex- literally what we're what we're saying oh i understand me and chris actually had a conversation about this the other day oh, about here's bernie oh my god look at this self-delivery oh, oh my, my god you Listen, ask for bernie and there it is you ask and you shall receive look at that i don't even have to get up i mean that look Wait, at these so trained muskrats i want to mention i want to just 
talk about this thing that Zaxton said, and I apologize if we're pronouncing your name wrong, but Zaxton said, that's what I was talking about. People think that if they're on the spectrum and then they shouldn't get any neurofeedback therapy, even if it will help them because they think that it's an unreasonable type of conformity that causes them to sacrifice part of their identity. Saxon said, I had it done and it was the best decision I've ever made. 100%. So I, here's what's interesting. My coworker posted recently a, an idea of how her uh, son, who is autistic, whether she, the conflict that she's feeling is, I want to help him be not autistic, but by doing that, I'm I'm making it seem as if his autism is wrong and therefore I should be celebrating his autism, right? So there's the conflict that that she's having. And I discussed this with Chris. Remember that walk that we had about like what do you think is right or wrong? Yeah. yeah. And I think it's very complicated. It I is mean, super there, complicated. There's there's no right or wrong answer. But I, I do think you think should, listen, it should be distilled down to you should get the help that you feel comfortable getting. Yeah, exactly. So, and that's that's all that it is. And there, if you feel comfortable getting the help, and that's you know what's right for you, and that's what you do. That's it. And there should be no stigma against that. Right. Exactly. And if you feel like that is the right help, there. That's the part to me that there should be no weirdness with you deciding that that's the help that you need or if you're a parent and you decide that that's the help that your child needs or whatever the case so welcome be, zaxton you know? thank you so. for sharing and welcome to the little fam yeah and also i just want to applaud bentley for his <laughs> bentley <laughs> or oh my god bernie for his delivery i mean he literally just you asked for him to come on the muskrat cam he came on his own and now he is putting on a show, rolling around on the muskrat cam and stretching. Steve thinks that it was staged. So just <laughs> what you don't know, Steve, is that we have like a, a person back here who's just holding all of the muskrats like- um, And releasing them. And releasing them when it's time, yeah. A third person. All right, well, we need to, this is the last one, then we need to go can, to Can Chris Get It? No, I think we still have a little bit more time. I was hoping that you would do one more. So I'm going to do fair game and then you do, if we don't beat this, then you do a fair, this one and so on and so forth. Okay. I'm <clears throat> not promising any sort of excitement. I'm just going to do my thing. Okay. Ready, Chris? Yeah. All right. It's the four symbols situation. Okay. Um, it's the like alien lander thing. The triangle with the three curves. Okay. The lambda with the slash through it. Uh huh. The rest. It looks like a rest sign, like okay. a uh, like a musical rest sign, and then like a weird Z, which also kind of looks like the rest sign. Okay, so it's lambda, rest sign, alien. It's not working. Uh, okay, wait. Where lambda yeah. rest sign? Yeah. Alien. No. Well, then. Yeah. Okay. I got it. The rest sign that I'm talking about is the last one with the curly. Okay. Go, go, go. Next one is. Oh, man. Simon Kyle says. Restart. Simon says. <laughs> Simon uh -huh. says. We have one strike against us. Yeah. And what's flashing is. Wait. Is this. Green. Does the serial number have a vowel? The serial number has a vowel. And it's one strike, and it's green. Blue. Okay. Now it's green, yellow. So blue what? Blue, red. Okay, now it's going to be green, yellow, blue. So blue, red, blue, what? Blue, red, green. Okay, now it's going to be blue, uh, green. Oh, that's it. We did it. Uh, the next one is the complicated wires. LED on at the... Oh, so it's white, LED on, nothing at the bottom. <sighs> Don't cut the wire. White wire nothing no led at the top star at the bottom the led is on is not on 
cut the wire. Okay, red wire, LED on, star at the bottom. I'm realizing now that I've been a bomb diffuser on the other end. Wait, is red? Red, LED on, star. Um. Oh my God. B. Cut the wire B? if the bomb has two or more batteries. Uh, it has. Cut it. Okay, last one. White LED star. I feel like I need to cut it. Cut it. Okay, we did it. Next is the um the the Morse code. Get to the Morse code, and I'm gonna tell you quick. Oh crap! I know I it's hate bad. This one. It's bad. So listen. I don't even know where that page is. Oh, it's the one that has the Morse code on it. I it's got it. On. I got it. I mean, Chris. It's in here somewhere. Literally, what? Um. It's oh my god. <laughs> okay, got it. Go, go, go. Tell me. Short, short, short space. Short, 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 short space. Short, long space. Short, long, long space. Wait, short, short, short space. Why is this not working? Jesus. Short, 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 long space. Take a guess. Dead. Gone. Oh my god. <laughs> okay, we're gonna do one more and it's gonna be Chris's uh version of this, and I'm gonna be the bomb diffuser. Or rather, I don't know, who am who would I be? I feel like we're a team in our diffusal, so I'm gonna say we're both. You're gonna be the caller and I'm gonna be the <sighs> The actor. The caller. Uh, this is like a survivor challenge. You know that one where they're always like on top of the thing and they're blindfolded? Shh, let's go. Okay, go. Tell me what. Okay, there's a uh, Simon Says. Okay, Simon Says is. Tell me if there's a serial number uh, vowel. Oh, my God. It's is starting. there a vowel? Yes, yes. Okay, what's the color that's flashing? Red. Uh, Blue. Red, green. Red, green is blue, yellow. Red, green, yellow. So blue, yellow, green. Done. Okay. What's Simple next? wires. Okay. Tell me. How many? Two red and a white. No, how many total? Three. Okay. If there are no red wires. There are. Otherwise, if the last wire is white. No. Otherwise, if there is more than one blue wire. No. Otherwise, cut the last wire. Did next. it. Next. Okay, complicated wires. Oh, fuck. Okay, next. Go, tell me. Um, If there's a white one with light on and no star. What do you mean, if? Um, is there? Yeah, I'm saying there's a white one. If. Press B and go over there and snooze it. So white with a light on and no star. Right? Yeah. No star. Yeah, white. No colors. White. Light is on. Yeah. Um. Do not cut the wire. Okay. Now, if there's a white or a blue with a star, no light. Blue with a star, no light. P. Cut the wire if the bomb has a parallel port. Oh, Jesus. I don't know. I can't see. It's nighttime. <sighs> I don't see a parallel port. All right, go next. Okay, red with uh, no light and a star. Red with no light and it does have a star. So that's uh, cut it. Did it. Okay. Next. Now the, the thing with like all the buttons with the words that sound alike. Yeah. It says red and LED. 
What? It, wait. Or LCD. What? It says the word is red in the LCD. Oh, so the and there's six of them, like yeah. three columns, uh-huh. two columns of three. Yeah. The right middle column. Done. What's the word? D O N E. D O N E. Mm-hmm. So that means that. Uh, I don't see it here. D O N E. Yeah. Done. Press it. Done. Oh, I see it. Oh, word. Well, no. That's what does it gone. say? Says. It says says. S A Y S. Okay, bottom right. Bottom right. And then tell me. It says uh huh. Uh uh. Like U H space U H. Okay, you are. Like you, the letter you are. Yeah. Or you, the letter. Or Y O U. Okay, I did that. And the next one says your U O or <laughs> Y O U apostrophe R E. Si- uh, second column, middle one. What's the second column? The, 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 the right or t- left? The right and the bottom. The right, right middle. Left. L E F T. Right, left, first, N O. Wait, it left? Okay, yeah, got it. Net, now net it what? says no, N O. Uh, bottom right. Left, L E F T. Right, left, first. No. Oh, well, no. You said left and it didn't work. There. T H E R E. Come on, go, Tater Tot. Second middle. Right middle. Next. N E X T. What? Question mark? U H H U H? U H U H? No. Yes. That, that one, do it. Oh, dead. Oh, Jesus. This game is just <laughs> terrible. <laughs> Oh. Okay, we need to go to oh, something. Oh, Pacific Ocean Plan pick Monster Hunter Rise is our next game. Yes, love it. I'm going to add that into our list. Have That'll we played that on the week. stream before? Yeah, we played it once before. And I'm excited because we Thanks, have Ralphia. had... Thanks, good, Good idea. Because we have had quite a bit of progress in it. If a, okay. If a level... If... The A level between easy and impossible. No, there's no level between easy and, and impossible. <laughs> it's literally you. You. It says here's three wires, and then you can spend an hour trying to figure out which of the three wires to cut. To you're going to build a bomb from scratch using pantyhose and a couple of paper clips. So this game is called keep talking and nobody explodes it's available on a lot of consoles i don't think that it's available for like ios or android i think it's pretty much like pc or switch or maybe xbox maybe ps4 ps5 like that level so just keep that in mind when um you download it it goes from sort of easy and understandable to like suddenly things are impossible Impo- and we are at impossible. the impossible point i want to say chris we did terribly we did horribly absolutely horribly do you think we can try just one more no i think we need to go we're gonna I, go like we on, need to really just sink this ship right to the bottom of the ocean okay so before we move on to the um to the final to can chris get it then i guess we should do the raffle and the raffle will be a screenshot that says what you're looking up at this. Oh, you're not seeing it, but it's going to say exploded. Okay. Is the muskrat cam frozen? Yeah. No. It's frozen. Oh, crap. It is. Okay. So <clears throat> we are going to be doing a raffle. The raffle is going to be two things. It's going to be. All right. So I'm quitting the game, right? This yeah. game is dead to me. Well, for now. Uh, the game is going, or the raffle rather, is going to be um, a screenshot. Oh, like I a, started it. It's going to be a Polaroid of the thing that says exploded and a Muskrat Nation sticker. So if you're interested in winning this prize, follow the rules on screen, which is exclamation point raffle. And if you are a subscriber 
you will win or you will have more of a chance of winning. If you are not a subscriber, you will have a little bit less of a chance of winning. Um, and I think that it will, it will like tell you um, whether or not you are in it or not. Okay, so let's let that this run. This will happen for five, for four more minutes. So uh, the Muskrat Nation sticker is, I don't think I have it visible, but it's a fair, it's like a, it's like this big. Which we have to buy more of those. And it has the logo of the Muskrat Nation. Um, we want to do some more things with them. So for now, this is what you get. It's going to be a Polaroid picture of that. Chris, can meanwhile, can you just um, uh, email me that photo so I can print it? Let's do it after. Okay. Um, so let's go to, I'm going to bring this up and we can go to, can Chris get it, right? Yes. Oh my God, I'm so excited for tomorrow. I really hope that tomorrow can happen. Me too. It's going to be it's such be a great. fun experience. Okay. Um, are you going to kick us off? Yeah, just before we do that, bring the chat in a little bit so we can see it. You see how it's all like bunched? Oh man, the cats are tearing it up in here. Which is weird because it's like not that... It's like 10 o'clock. Yeah, yeah, I guess it's time. Oh, doggies, if you're missing it, tomorrow we are traveling with our Airstream to a place in which we think has internet, which means that we will be camping and streaming, which will fulfill our whole moniker of Airstreamers. Like we will be streaming from our Airstream. Yeah, Kath, Kathy, it is dinner time for sure. Big time. All right, okay, kick, Chris. kick us off with what we're going to not get tonight. On tonight's Can Chris Get It, based off of this bomb situation, I am going to ask Chris to identify the names of these two actors from the following movie. Okay, so first off, Chris, just before you move on, uh -huh. what movie is this from? I have no idea what movie this is from. Okay, well, Naked that's a Gun bad... 33 and a third. No, but Mega Meg asked me to remind you of the rules. The rules are, if you're following and you are new, that this is a game called Can Chris Get It? Which means he, Chris, this one over here, is the only one who's allowed to guess anything about this. No movie title, no... Um, no actor or actress or character name, none of it. Just let Chris figure this out and give us an, a, you know, an amazing experience. So with wait, what he comes up with. Steve said, "Bring a MiFi." So actually, we we paid to have. Do you? By the way, do you all hear him right now? We paid to have wireless. Waiting. What? Oh, the series going off. The cats are going off. Everybody's losing it. Steve, we installed a cellular thing in the Airstream. So hopefully it works. But yeah, this is Naked Gun 33 and a third. Okay, it is not. Okay, then it's the one with multi-pass. Heidi, that's why I picked this. It's the one with multi-pass with the, um, the orange like Incorrect. tape. Incorrect. Incorrect. They're talking to somebody on the phone right now. It's important. Uh-huh. <clears throat> is it Speed? Why do you think that I picked a movie like this? Yeah, it's Speed, where they have to, like, drive the bus until it's... Incorrect. Leslie, I think the raffle is over. Is this a Christmas movie? It is regarded as a Christmas movie, but it's, like, not really a Christmas Why, movie. Why, though? Oh, wait. Why did look? Is why it, did um, Leslie do it and then it didn't go? But then it's Streamlab says to do it. Do you see what I'm saying? Maybe it did work. No, there's 17 seconds. Oh, left. okay, got it, got it. So uh, yes, I'm. I apologize, Leslie. You are still in it. So, Doggy Seven, listen. Anything I I can just give me anything. What and is we'll a make Christmas it work. movie? I know you've said that. So the guy on the right is the Bruce guy. Bruce. Um, I don't know. Springsteen. Bruce Springsteen. Do you really think that Chris Maloney? It looks like Chris Maloney. I can't. 
I can't. I can't. So Bruce Springsteen on the right or Chris Maloney, both of which are wrong. The guy in the oh, I know the guy in the left. Um, he's uh from Star Wars with the purple thing. Uh huh. What's his name? What's um, the Mace Windu? Okay, so let's just. I need to pause and and recognize. Look at what we're looking at. Right, a really identifiable movie, two really identifiable actors, and what Chris got from this is that the man on the left is Mace Windu with a purple lightsaber. Okay? Mm -hmm. That's all we got so far. That is what Chris can get. This is what we are dealing with here. So I got it. I mean, I'm just handing you a bone at this point. (laughs) I think it's Mace Windu on the left and... Bruce something. It's probably, it's not Springsteen. He's a singer. He's not an actor. But he's, um, Steve, can we just call him, can we just call him Bruce? Sure. We can call him Bruce. So you got two dings. You got it. But I don't know the movie though. I, I don't, I've never seen this movie. Right. I don't know. I mean, we've been together for like 15 years. Have we been together longer than you were a like a teenager? Like I can tell you I've never seen this before you. So if we saw it when I've been with you then I've seen it. Otherwise I no, haven't. No, then we didn't see it. Okay, so then it's Naked Gun 33 and a third. It's not. It's not even close to Naked Gun 33 and a third. The fact that you even know that though. Oh, so, that movie's hysterical it looks like they're having a really funny conversation oh no 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 (laughs) this movie i'm gonna just reveal it all this is die hard with a vengeance which is die hard three the man on the right is bruce willis hmm yeah, yeah. Okay. I'm telling you, if if any... He if, looks like Chris Maloney, though. I mean, sort of, kind of. What's funny about what you're saying is this, that I'm about to say that if you could be turned gay, Bruce Willis turned me gay. I don't and, think so. And, I mean, are you me? No, I mean, okay. I'm, I'm me, but I'm, I'm not... Okay. I'm not into it. So don't you think. don't matter to me? No. That doesn't sound right, but... I'm me, you're you. <laughs> Bruce Willis turned me gay or Chris Maloney turned me gay, whichever one there, which, which really is they comical are, that you I, think that they look the same. Yeah. Let's, I think they're the Anne Hathaway, Liv Tyler situation where it's a Bruce Willis and a Bruce. Chrissy, um, do not tell me that he's an ass. I don't care. I mean, I will, this will be a hill that I die on. He's hot. Bottom line. That's all that I need to know about Bruce Willis. And he was in um, Pulp Fiction. And there's a brief moment where you see his penis. And I had a VHS tape. And I remember stopping, trying at least to stop on that scene. But oh, that it's was, like a VHS. That was a bad work. time. Yeah, it doesn't work. So it doesn't work. But Demi Moore was his wife. I do know that. I don't, I mean, he could be an awful man. I'm not even advocating for him. All I'm saying is that he likely turned me gay. Or Chris Maloney also turned me gay, which Chris thinks both look the same. So, makes he, sense. I'm not going to say it. Never mind. Okay. Is it an eggplant or a little pepper? I think it's an eggplant. Pretty sure. From what I from what I was able to like, you know, when you pause a uh, VHS and it well, does the Well, also, whole, like, it's like, yeah, it's like this. So, maybe it's like stretching it. Maybe yeah. it is a little pepper. Bruce Willis and Chris, Mal- Chris Maloney look the same and they both confirmed I'm straight, sadly. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so that's who's on the right. On the left is Wait, Mace Wait, this Windu. isn't the guy who did the pa- Passion of the Christ, right? On the right. Uh, no, it's not. That is Mel Gibson. And please do not taint Mel Gibson with Bruce Willis or vice versa. 
They do they look the same too? No, 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 no. They do not. We're not going to go there. Okay. On the left is Mace Windu. Sure. Do you know what else he's from? Um. I mean, literally, name a movie, and he's probably in it. Really. He is in the biggest set of movies that are currently in existence. Um, The Marvel ones? Who is he in that? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. He's the guy with the pager. <laughs> yeah, you know the most random things. Yeah, he pages the he pages Captain Marvel. Okay, just so you all know about the treadmill being on, let's not panic. There is no clip that's in there, which means no matter what, they will not turn it on. <laughs> Always come stumbling in. And oh Steve, my gosh, it's so they cute. were both in Pulp Fiction, and that's the movie in which that I was able to to see um, Bruce Willis's penis. In. Wait, doggies is giving me a clue with the S's. Mm, I don't know. I don't know what that is. Wait, what am I overselling? And cr- who was in credit card commercials? Yes, Kathy P- uh, Tater Tot. That's his cue that things are. You know who's in credit to, card commercials? Um, MC Hammer. Or like credit, credit, uh, like those loan shark people. Okay, I think we are getting off course. This movie is fantastic, and I don't know why we haven't seen it. Die Hard 1, 2, and 3 are fantastic movies. Jeremy Irons is the villain oh, of this Oh, Snakes one. on the Plane. Oh. Wait, he was in that on the left? On the left, yeah. What are all these mother effing snakes doing on this mother effing plane? No? Mm, yeah. That's I him. never saw the movie, though. Yeah, me neither, but that's all that you need to know. So... Yeah, Heidi, of course, the guy in the left. He was the one with the, with the, he was pointing the gun at the man with the food. And then he says the whole thing about the, um, the Royale with cheese. The quarter pounder in France is called the Royale with cheese. There's that whole scene in it. Yes, both were a hundred percent in Pulp Fiction. Both people were? Yes, both of them were. But this is not Pulp Fiction. This is from Die Hard with a Vengeance. Yeah, this is an important phone call. Okay, well, our homework is to watch this at some point. Watch all of them. Die Hard 1, 2, and 3. They're really, really, really okay, good. They're fantastic. Temper your expectations. Let's get through one and then we'll reassess and see yeah, if sorry, two and so three So we're going to watch it. one. Okay. All right, well, I, I think we're... We're at capacity tonight. We've literally blown up all the bombs and they look like they're talking to us right now on this stream. Pause. Trying. The reason I picked this is because they are diffusing a bomb right now. That's literally the reason. There's a scene Heidi mentioned earlier about the three gallons. They need to identify how to get three gallons from one um, from one tank of water to another tank of water using one of those mathematical like puzzles. And if they don't do it, they're going to blow up part of New York. I mean, this is literally a math textbook. Yeah. And And do you think either of them know math? No. But why do people hate doing math homework and then they're watching this movie and loving it? What? It's... These are like problems. Like, yeah, it's a logic puzzle, and the suspense of them trying to figure out how to get the amount of gallons they need before part of New York blows up is truly exciting. Okay, well, we're gonna wrap that. <laughs> yeah, from five <laughs> gallons. So anyway, Chris, I think you secretly know some of these people. Doggy Seven, listen to me when I tell you, this is not an act. Chris is not an actor. Did I'm you not see an actor, us for sure. try to act Charles and Camilla, right? We are not actors. I am an award-winning actor comparatively to Chris. 
Oh, we need to. Oh my God, on the Bella! Thank you so, so much. So my point is, Chris is literally not. I am not an actor. Acting, and I honestly, I feel like. <laughs> no more wine for Chris. I've only had one glass, Heidi. <laughs> but it's 15%. Chris, tell us who won. Okay, ready? We're about to pick the winner. Okay. And the winner is when was is oh, the winner. Yay. When I was. Hope when was is still on. When was when if was you're still on. And enter to win the picture of the day. So, Steve, I definitely grew up with TV, but... It wasn't really until I was never really like into watching TV. The two shows that I really enjoyed watching, one was The Simpsons, and two, congrats, one was thank thanks for running the raffle and for um, hanging out with us. And we'll send you the picture. Of- well, when was do me a favor um, if you're not following the real Air Streamers account. Or if you're on Discord, just reach out to us in some capacity. Um, the real air streamers on Instagram, or if you join the Discord and message us and we'll send you what we're gonna send you. Or when was if you wanna if you email us at um the real airstreamers at gmail dot com with your address, we'll send out the yeah. the picture to you. But my two shows the Simpsons and Frasier. Those are really the only shows that I watched. And I didn't watch any of these like when they were on. It was like whenever I turned the TV on and they happened to be on, I would keep the TV on. I was not a big like <laughs> TV watcher. And <laughs> yeah, so when was send a message to me, like I see if I could or the real air streamers, it doesn't matter. And we'll we'll see it. And it wasn't until Elias came into my life that I actually started watching TV. So what? <laughs> I'm amazing. Yeah, then? you introduced me to all of this. I now introduced I'm- you to mind-numbing entertainment. Yeah. So yeah, I agree. yeah, Steve, a hundred percent for sure. <clears throat> we had a friend who was a huge Simpsons fan and was swore by those. Yeah, and honestly, I don't watch like any of them anymore. I think it fell off a cliff. But big time. Oh, Ralphia loves Frasier. All right, so listen, make sure to tune in tomorrow. I'm super excited. If by chance you tune in and there's like nothing going on, our apologies. We just don't know what's going to happen tomorrow with the internet. But we will record something and play it back on Tuesday as worst case scenario. Okay, so just keep that in mind. So yeah, with that said, thanks for tuning in to another episode of Airstreamers. I had a ton of fun tonight, even though we didn't really save any bombs. Uh, And that's it. I think that's it. All right. See you all tomorrow. (laughs) Bye, everyone. Bye, everyone. See ya. (laughs)